Are you serious? Are you serious? I mean, we're talking about 72 new asteroids that are coming to the Earth or are going to be very close. And that since the last time we counted, now there's 72 new ones. NASA is saying this. Get this. Of the more than 600,000 known asteroids in our solar system, almost 10,000 of them are known as near-Earth objects. These are asteroids or comets whose orbits bring them close to the Earth and which could potentially collide with us at some point in the future as they keep swinging back around. Now, of such monitoring, these objects is a vital part of NASA's ongoing efforts in space. Of one such mission in NASA's near-Earth object-wide Field Survey Explore. Now, since December of 2013, and now after two years of study, the information gathered by the mission is being released again to the public. This includes, most recently, NASA for the second year of survey data, which accounted for 72 previously unknown objects that orbit near our planet. Now, these are near our planet. They're in the near-Earth object range. We've just added 72 new, new ones. Of these, eight were classified as potentially hazardous asteroids. Eight! These 72, we didn't know where they were there. Now we've, had, we've got 10,000 near-Earth objects out there. We're dodging and weaving. Now we got 72 new ones, and eight of them are potentially hazardous asteroids based on their size and how close their orbits are approaching the Earth. Originally launched back in 2009 as the Wide Field Survey Explorer, the spacecraft relied on its infrared telescope to look for previously undetected star clusters and main belt asteroids. In February of 2011, the mission ended and the spacecraft was put into hibernation. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of your elitists want to go into hibernation. That's why they're building underground bunkers, folks. In every nation, every major nation of the world are building underground cities where they plan on surviving the apocalypse. Now, I'm going to get to that in a minute because the Bible tells us they're going to do it. It's in Revelation. It said that the kings of the earth the rich men, the mighty men, the chief captain, every bondman, free man, they're going to hide themselves in the rocks and in the dens of the mountains. They're going to try to hide from God. It's not going to work. Oh, no. But let me read a little bit more, okay? Get this. Uh, okay, as of December of 2013, it was reactivated for the purpose of surveying near-Earth objects and... This mission not only involves scanning for near-Earth objects at infrared wavelengths, but also characterizing the previously known asteroids and comets to provide information about their sizes and compositions. James Bauer, the mission's deputy principal investigator, explained this uh, uh, about the operations to universe today. So 72 new objects. Eight of them are potentially hazardous, according to NASA. And the numbers of, we are, we've moved into a galactical belt, a, a, a galactical plane, and more and more fireballs, asteroids, meteors, comets. It's a whole lot of stuff up there, and the heavens are being shaken, and there's some kind of gravitational pull, a gravitational pull on the Earth and all the planets and the moons and the spacecrafts and the Saturn probe and everybody's looking for Nibiru and everybody's looking for the planet X, the planet 9, planet 7X. Are you serious? Will it bring wormwood? The Bible says something's going to. And I know you don't want to hear about the Bible. It's like, oh, no, don't be thumping and bumping the Bible. I have to bring it up because nobody else is going to. I mean, the cotton candy Christianity has got to take a break for a minute. And we got to get real. We got to get some grown ups in the room here. How about some grown ups in the pulpit again? I mean, we've got to get these pansies out of the pulpit. We got to get the playboys out of the presbytery. Seriously. We got to get some folks in here that's going to start sharing the truth. Jesus Christ is coming. All right? We don't know the day nor the hour. He said that himself. 
No man knows the day nor the hour, not the angels in heaven, but the Father only. Jesus said that. And he also said, you will see the day approaching. He also said, watch and pray for an hour you think not the Son of Man coming. All right? So we can draw out our hermeneutics and all of our uh, eschatology. We can put out our, the Daniel timeline. We can try to figure it all out. And trust me, you and I don't know. All right? But we do know we can see the day approaching. We can see we're in the season. We're in the fig tree season. We just look at Israel. It is God's prophetic timepiece. I mean, listen, what's happening here? Are you serious? Don't miss this show tonight. What are you, what are you doing? Don't miss tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.